quite the sight. The annual Henderson Winterfest Christmas tree lighting dazzled locals. It was topped off by, look at that sight in the sky, that colorful drone show earlier this month. Crowds were delighted by, you could see a home right there and various other displays. What does it take to make it all come together? Meteorologist and drone pilot Ted Pretty is here with an exclusive look how teams work to create these spectacles in the sky, Ted. Yeah, well, drone shows have been popping up in public celebrations for the last few years. Some replacing firework displays because of environmental concerns or out of respect for sensory sensitive groups. So how do drone shows work? I went to Henderson's Winterfest last week to find out. Jason D. Richards has 140 things on his mind. I'm the pilot in command. I'm the one who's in charge of all the drones once they actually leave the ground. Tonight, he's piloting 140 drones over downtown Henderson. But first, there's pre-flight prep. So the crew will set out all the drones in this grid pattern. We'll get all the drones turned on, upload the show file to the drones. Then we'll run through some safety checks on both the hardware and the software. Make sure that everything's ready to go come showtime. The show designs are developed well in advance and are uploaded on site before launch. Each drone assigned a specific precise flight plan. So with 140 drones flying just about a meter apart, how do they know not to bump into each other? Each one of these drones is equipped with GPS and its position is refreshed every second. And we say, hey, this is the most recent GPS. Correct your position based off of that. So when everything's running the way it's supposed to, the drones are accurate within about two centimeters of what we program them to do. Each drone weighs three pounds and costs $1,500 each. Batteries last 15 minutes, so tonight's show is about 12 minutes. Three, two, one. Drones are taking off. Drones launch with a push of a button, but Jason can't get caught up in the spectacle. There's a, a lot racing through my mind, just making sure all the drones have taken off, uh, monitoring the telemetry, making sure everything looks good. Biggest concern would be potential interference, whether that may be from, say, a bird, bad weather, things of that nature. Seven minutes remaining in show. I'm keeping a close eye on all the equipment. We proceed telemetry for all of the drones. We can go in and see their battery percentage, the uh, level of their GPS at that time. So just monitoring those things to make sure everything's running smoothly. Anything look out of place, Alex? But then from my position here, I can see the back side of the show. So I know what's coming and I can perceive what the crowd may be seeing from their side. When they are descending and the show is over and each one has finally hit the ground, do you get a sense of relief? Absolutely, absolutely. Once they're up in the air, they're on their own. So once they all come back down nice and safe, it's uh, a big sigh of relief, definitely. That was awesome. It's always great when we hear cheers and uh, you know claps coming from the crowd as well. You know that they're enjoying the show. Now, drone shows typically have anywhere from 50 drones with very basic designs to 1,000 drones. The more drones, the more intricate displays like 3D designs. The show you just saw by the company Open Sky out of Salt Lake City had around an average of well, 140 drones. Drone show pilots need a special waiver from the FAA to pilot a show beyond the general commercial drone license.